Hey guys, today I want to do another recap of a recent officiating event we attended, this time at US Youth Soccer Regionals in Tampa, Florida. We got to meet and watch so many officials from all over the Southern region do what they do on the pitch. We also got the opportunity to once again be in person with our partners from the Tennessee Soccer Referee Association and help them with anything that they needed on a daily basis. It's always nice to be in person with them. So we also got the chance to go over all of this GPS data that we've been collecting from what our officials are doing on the pitch. It's kind of eye-opening sometimes and what you have to keep in mind is that numbers are just numbers unless you do something with them. So we got to sit down with some of our officials, not only show their current trends, but against the group averages, but also let them in on, hey, how we're gonna take this and prepare you more so for the upcoming fall season. There were a lot of lessons learned this week, one of which being we need to do a better job of educating our officials on proper fueling, hydration, and recovery. I think a lot of them just don't know what to do, but if we gave them the tools to be successful, they would definitely do it. From the movement side of officiating, I think there's a couple key things that we're taking away. First of which, I think that we need to teach officials a little bit more about arm swing mechanics when they're running. The fluidity of motion and the efficiency that comes from proper arm swing is extremely important over a long match. The other thing is I sat with referee mentor coaches, pro and FIFA referees, and watching them dissect these officials and you know putting my own spin on it is speed and explosiveness is extremely important. Speed reserve for one is extremely important because the higher my output is of speed, the easier it is submaximally. So that gives you some insight into why speed could be important for conditioning, but they were more so meaning how important it is for them to be explosive and athletic and be in the right position to make the right call. So oftentimes we talk about speed and now they're putting it into perspective. We're saying the same message. So I think that it's incredible for us to be able to push this onto our younger referees and help their training as they become a higher level official. What a great time it was in Tampa. We're so grateful for all of the people that we met and all the officials that we got to connect with. If there's anything that we can do at all to help you as an official, please don't hesitate to reach out to us. Let's get to running.